join us for our Wednesday time together. One of the things that I absolutely love, as you can see, is I love animals. Did you know that there are so many different kinds of animals in the world? And let's just take dogs. There are so many different kinds of dogs. Not all dogs look like Belle, my dog. Not all cats look like maybe a cat that you might have or that you might have seen. There's so many different kinds. You know, even you are special. And the cool thing is, as the bees are buzzing all around me, the cool thing is, is that God knows your name. Did you know that? That God knows your name because he made you. He made you special. Now we've talked about that a little before, but I kind of wanted to read from Exodus chapter 33 today. It says, the Lord said to Moses, I will do exactly what you have asked. I am pleased with you and I know your name. I know all about you. You know, he doesn't have to say the Lord said to Moses, he could say the Lord said to whatever your name is, I will do what you ask. Because when you ask God for something, because he is our father, he is so happy to help us by answering our prayers. Now, you know, sometimes he might say to wait, or he might even say no. Like if I said, well, I want it to snow today, he might say, um, I think it's summertime and the answer is no. But at least he listens to me. And he says, I am pleased with you just because he loves me. He doesn't, he doesn't need for me to, um, to be perfect, but he just, he likes me just the way I am. And he says, I know your name. I know all about you. You know, it's really wonderful because God doesn't only know my name and your name, but he knows all the names of all the animals. It says in Genesis chapter two, verse 19, it says the Lord God formed all the wild animals and all the birds in the sky. He had made them out of the ground. He brought them to the man. Do you remember what his name is? That's right, his name is Adam. To see what names he would give them. Isn't that wonderful? And the name the man gave to each living creature became its name. So the man gave names to all the livestock, all the birds in the sky, and all the wild animals. So imagine God loved Adam so much that he said, I'm going to let you name all the animals. I think that's wonderful because they did something together. Now we're going to do something together. I think, I think you know what this is, right? It's a very, very big, and I guess sometimes they are this size. It's a goose. It's my goose, my garden goose. She keeps watch all over my stuff. That's the garden goose that I have. Now, I know you know what this is. You know what that is? That's an animal that stays awake at night and has wonderful vision. Did you guess that it's an owl? Very good. Now, this is a little one. What do you think that one is? It, it, it does look a lot like this in real life, even though that's really not a real one. What do you think that one is? Did you guess it's an owlet? It's a baby owl or an owlet. Very good. Okay, now I know that you know what this is. It's not a real one again, but it looks very much like a real one. Do you know what that is? That's right. It's a squirrel. Imagine Adam saying, well, I think I'm going to name you squirrel. Wow. And he said, I'm going to name you owl. Now we're going to come into some a little bit more, a little harder animals. This looks like a squirrel, but it's not a squirrel. Hmm. I think Adam but have said, you're so cute. I'm going to name you. Do you get it? Did you get it? Chipmunk. Imagine Adam naming this chipmunk. I think he was so pleased to be able to name this little guy a chipmunk. Now you might know what this is. This normally lives in the ocean 
And the underside right here is normally where the mouth is. Now this one isn't alive, uh, but it is a real one. Did you guess what that is? That's right, it's a starfish. And again, the underside is where his mouth normally is, and that's where he um, gets his food and eats it. But people, people want, don't want to step on these because sometimes they are sharp, and that's the way the starfish protects itself. All right, now here's the hard one. Here's the hard one. What do you think that is? What does it look like? Can you imagine how Adam saying, hmm, I wonder what I want to name you. And I can imagine this creature just taking its claws and clawing at Adam and he says, you're a little crabby, so I might name you Crab. It's a crab. Do you know what kind of crab? Well, this is a clue. If you know what this is, it's it eats this. It's a coconut crab, a coconut crab. At one time, there was a coconut on the inside here. And uh, so this is a coconut crab and you can find this. This is Pablo got this on Guam and um, I think he's beautiful. So this is our coconut crab. Can you imagine Adam naming all the animals? I think that would have been a really hard job, but it would have been a fun job to say, hey, your name is giraffe or your name is rhinoceros or your name is hippopotamus. Remember, God knows your name because you are special to him just like all these animals are, but you're more special because we are made in the image of God. Isn't that wonderful? That is so wonderful to me. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed your time with me today and we will see you next Wednesday for CBC Kids Midweek. All right, see you then.